Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome back to Legends of Chess 2020 semi-final. So we have two pairs, um, Magnus Carlsen plays against Peter Spiedler uh, and I would like to show you the game between Jan Nepomniaszy, so second pairing, who's gonna play as white against Anish Giri, who's of course gonna play as black. This is the game number two, so first game ended with the draw and this is the game number two. So without further ado, let's see what just happened on the board. We have e4 by Nepo, e5, and now bishop to c4, uh, bishop's opening. We have knight to f6, we have d3, uh, and now knight to c6. And here it looks like it would be great for white to actually play something like f4. Um, with the idea, of course, with jumping with the, with the knight to g3 you know, and then continue the development. However, it's not that great for white, even it looks so, uh, because after f4, black has, black actually can take uh, on f4, which is already pretty good, um, but also can play something like d5, and after e takes on d5, knight to d5, f takes on e5, uh, white gonna win the pawn, but look at this development, bishop c5, knight f3, because the queen always can jump to h4, and after bishop to g4, black actually got the very very rapid development so this is why Nepo played knight to c3 first very important this is Vienna hybrid and white gonna have a much better position than you know after f4 uh, we have bishop to b4 now by Anish Giri however the main line here I would like just to show you the main ideas knight to a5 exchanging this bishop and after knight g to e2 knight to c4, d takes on c4, bishop c5 developing, uh, and after castle d6. Pretty natural, uh, very harmonious, um, queen on d3, let's say bishop to, to e6, uh, and after b3 defending, uh, castle as, as, as well, bishop to e3, uh, countering this bishop, which could be de um, very dangerous, uh, you know, that the knight can jump to g4, the, the queen can join, you know, on h4, so that would be be uh, pretty natural uh, so usually black play knight to d7 preparing uh, some moves like f6 or f5 white also you know can can play in the same fashion so um, the game can continue that's the main line however Anish Giri as I said played bishop to b4 we have knight to f3, so Nepo is not interested in any f4 moves, as that would be weaken the position of his king. And now we have d6. Uh, we have castle by Nepo, and now as the knight is no longer pinned, there is no, no king on e1, then bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3, and now knight a5, eliminating the, the white spur of bishop. Bishop to b3, uh, Nepo says, okay, but on my terms, I want to have the open a file. Uh, we have h6 controlling the, the g5, so any, any bishops um, on g5s are not possible. And now h3 with the same idea. Queen to e7 and now knight to h2. Uh, knight to b3, uh, a takes on b3. And now critical decision by Anish Giri. What he can play here uh, is, for example, he can play a6, he can play a5. He can play bishop to d7 with the idea of marching with this pawn, for example, with the support. Uh, he can castle this all of these moves are are pretty okay however uh, anish giri made the critical decision and started the attack on the on the king we have g5 and okay rook to e1 uh, rook to g8 now supporting g4 and now Although f3 could be played, could be played um, after a6, let's say knight to f1, um, h5 continuing the attack and, uh, and let's say b4, uh, g4 is possible f takes on g4, h takes on g4, and now h4, avoiding the, the more exchange and opening the lines, knight to h5 with the attack on h4, but now simply g3, uh, the pawn is defended, defending this pawn, so it's pretty solid, it could be played, however, Nepo has a different idea, knight to f1 first, so he allows uh, g4, so we have g4, h4, uh, and here Anish wants, uh, you know, to break through and place g3, which is uh, pretty sneaky. Um, knight to g3, 
isn't that great because after knight to g4, knight f1, the queen can actually take on h4 and after queen to f3, it looks like um, there is no attack here. Uh, however, definitely is not pleasant to play, you know, with the semi-open g file, with the queen on h4, with the knight coming um, and it's definitely not, not pleasant position to play. So this is why Nepo takes uh, with the pawn and now look at this, the king can go to h2 and get the, you know, very, very nice shelter, which gonna be very difficult also um, to attack. So pretty nice idea. Also opening the F file uh, and that, that is the one of the ideas for white gonna be of course to, to bring the rooks to the F file. We have rook to G6 as the pawn on H6 is under attack and now B4. Uh, B4 move is actually against any, any A5 so it slow down the, the queen side uh, and here Anish Giri continues his attack and he plays knight to H5 and look at this the knight is under attack and it doesn't have you know any protection so what's this move what is the, the idea actually the point is if white decide the, to take the, the knight then the queen gonna be trapped so uh, Anish Giri tries to trap the queen and Nepo thought for a while and said, okay, if you want to trap my, my queen, let's do it. Queen on h5, bishop to g4. And now the point is, white didn't want to play anything like, you know, uh, bishop to g5. Uh, of course, eight takes on g5 would be would be pretty bad because this is winning for for white with one extra knight. That's that's not the point. However, simply queen to e6 and now black is better. Uh, queen to g6, um, queen to g6, and now this bishop has to retreat. Bishop to d2 and uh, black stands pretty good, uh, much better than than white. So uh, Nepo has a different plan. Queen to g6. F takes on g6 and now bishop h6, so winning that pawn and now look at this, all these dark squares are just weak and black gonna have problems with defending them. Uh, what's the plan for black? Uh, the plan is of course bringing the rook uh, on the open file, uh, kick the bishop first, of course kick the bishop, bring the bring the rook and control the, the f file and maybe even exchange the rooks, that would be awesome. So uh, Anish tries to execute that, king to d7, but now knight to e3 with tempo, with the attack on the, on the bishop, so bishop has to retreat, and now rook to f1. So white actually controls them, the only open file uh, on the board. We have queen to h7, kicking the bishop, bishop to g5 uh, and now queen to g8 preparing any rook to f8 uh, but now rook to f6 and now uh, the pawn on a7 is under attack so if black moves to 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 the f file then you know uh, a7 pawn is hanging so a6 first but now rook a to f1 and white is first on the on the f file so look at this calculation nepo had to calculate all of that uh, and you know sacrifice the queen or exchange for the for the rook and the knight uh, and be sure that he gonna control actually the f file we have rook to e8 by Anish Giri and as he failed to actually exchange the, the rooks or try to even control the f file at least he wants to castle artificially so that's his plan now uh, but now we have c4 so now the queen is trapped but black queen is trapped because you cannot even imagine how to bring this queen to the game. Uh, you could try maybe something like this, but but the queen can be, you know, kicked back very easily. Um, you know, the rook can come, for example, to f2, and the queen has to go back. So for now, the queen is trapped, okay? Um, so very interesting. Anish Giri wanted to trap the queen, but now Nepo shows, you know, how to um, trap the queen. 
we have b6 part of the plan uh, not only actually controlling c5 so any any c5 is not possible actually it's possible one of the best uh, ideas in the game uh, but what black can try here is actually push a5 push a5 creating the pass pawn and that would be the only counterplay for black um, so that's one of the ideas and of course uh, the king want to go to the safety uh, and then black can try to continue the game we have knight to d5 excellent outpost for the knight and also if king to c8 actually there is some trick like knight to e7 okay and uh, winning the queen and uh, trapping the queen here so rook to e8 and let's say exchange and white uh, didn't lose even a single pawn yet so two extra pawns should be enough to to win the game so that was possible this is why anish giri um doesn't you know go to c8 and he tries to reach b7 uh, through c Six. So we have king to c6 and here actually b5 would be very strong uh, but Nepo has a different plan uh, I'm just saying after b5 a takes on b5 c takes on b5 the king couldn't take the, the, the pawn because of the knight c7 uh, and after exchanging all the stuff, uh, rook f8, queen d7, and the queen is still trapped over there and is very dangerous position for, uh, for black so in this position king to b7 would have to be played uh but then for example knight to b4 uh with some ideas maybe this way uh can be attacked if the bishop for example moves to d7 then this rook can attack from this side and the knight can can just go back a lot of ideas for white so uh that was possible b5 was actually the strongest move in the position but nepo has a different idea and also quite strong so rook from the sixth rank to f2 uh now we have a fork threat so quite serious queen to g7 avoiding that and now king to h2 so look at this shelter it's actually not possible to penetrate the position of the of the white king the, the king is just you know very very safe there king to b7 Anish also tries to be safe and here c5 could be played immediately however Nepo wants to avoid the, the trade of the of the knight first play knight to c3 and after rook to a8 uh, rook to f6 with the attack on the bishop so queen to g8 defend and only now c5 we have queen to e8 uh, trying to remaneuver the queen still keeping an eye on the bishop but also trying maybe with the queen to to c6 and after the c file is open maybe try to operate somewhere here just you know escape this trap but this is not possible knight to d5 by nepo uh, and now we have d takes on c5 opening the position here uh, b takes on c5 and now if black actually try something like um, a5 is pretty forced uh, because c takes on b6 c takes on b6 uh, and now after bishop e3 this pawn is under attack twice uh, rook can join anytime um, and then queen has to still keep an eye on the bishop uh, so another another rook can join if the bishop is moved so this is completely lost a b5 is possible if you if you try to continue this way but then c4 um, b4 uh, and now the only problem is how to check the king now because of the bishop controlling f7 but this also can be solved by h five threatening to take on g6 and bring the rook this way uh, and even if black takes it then then doesn't matter rook h6 or 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 g6 and continue the plan b3 if black black doesn't have in any any good moves uh, rook h7 now king to c6 that would be a checkmate quite beautiful checkmate so that's not even possible uh, and if king to b8 it also doesn't look good because after bishop to c5 uh, there are the you know mating ideas here as the rook you know controls all the seventh rank so uh, bishop to d5 would be forced and after bishop to d6 uh, king c8 uh, c takes on d5 now b2 preventing any c c1 checks uh, which would be of course devastating 
Uh, however, rook c7 with check, the king cannot go to, to b8 because gonna lose the queen with the check, discover check, so king to d8, but it's still not enough. Rook to b7, just controlling the, the b file, and also rook is coming to f8, and there is nothing black can do. The queen is still trapped over there. Is If the queen is moved anywhere, then uh, rook to f8 is coming anyway. So um, a4, black could try to, you know, do something with these past pawns. However, that's not enough. Rook to f8. And after queen f8, bishop f8, a3. It looks like black has some counterplay with two past pawns. However, um, that's not true because bishop takes on a3. And after rook a3, uh, rook takes on, on b2. And with three extra pawns, of course, this is winning for for white. So Anish tries something else and he plays b takes on c5. Now the queen can escape somehow. However, there is no time for that. Rook to b1. Now b file is open. Uh, we have check. So king to c8. And now bishop h6 threatening the rook to f8 again. Uh, king to d7 preventing. Uh, but now rook to b7 threatening uh, taking on c7. Seven. So a very dangerous position. Uh, Anish finally exchanged the, the bishops for the knight in the center as this knight is a monster knight. So bishop takes on d8, e takes on d5 and now uh, the queen still cannot escape. Do you see that? The queen is completely trapped and if tries to escape maybe this way it also doesn't work because c4 uh, and there is no escape way, maybe something like g5, uh, bishop g5, queen h7, so that would be possible, however it's too slow, d6, uh, and now, you know, um, the checkmate is coming, so rook c8 maybe defending, but now rook f8 deflecting the, the, the rook, and of course this is also uh, winning uh, with one extra bishop, that's enough uh, for white to win the game. So Anish plays something sneaky, king c8, inviting actually um, for the rook to f8, but that would be losing, because after rook f8, the king can take the rook on b7, okay? And uh, black would be the up the exchange and would easily win the, this game. So that's not possible, this is why rook to b1 by Nepo, very precise move, now we have king to d7, as the rook f8, Eight is a very serious threat, so there is the only one move, king to d7, but now rook b to f1, rook to d8, making the escape path for the, for the king, however, rook f8 now. Uh, we have queen e7, and in this position Anish Giri admit that his queen got trapped and um, and finally resigned. And he resigned uh, because rook f7 is the is the easiest way, you know, to win. But also uh, rook to d8 is even stronger. Uh, and after king to d8, the the bishop can pin the the queen and they win the win the game uh, or if queen to d8 rook f7 and now uh, again if the if the king go to the 8th rank then of course rook f8 wins the queen uh, and finally king d6 is also losing simply c4 and believe me or not bishop f8 is coming and black can do nothing about that the pawn controls all the squares and the rook controls all the squares. Uh, if black tries to push this pawn to make some, some spot for the, for the king, then bishop f4 is a checkmate. And if any other moves, then of course bishop f8 is winning the game because black has only one legal move. So this is of course winning for white. This is why after queen e7, Anish Giri resigned. So what the game, Anish Giri trap the queen first and then his queen got really trapped. Really nice lesson from Nepo, you know how to trap the queen. And Nadia, if you like this video, press like. If for some reason you don't like it, press unlike. And if you don't want to miss other semi-finals game, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.